third type of program we are discussing here these questions are came in TCS Ninja so we are discussing these programs now because we are also writing a program on main examinations so on 3rd January 2019 at 7 p.m. we are conducting a live stream for tips on tips for TCS mod hiring for BSc and BCA you have to come for live the first 30 minutes we will explain the tips and last time um, concentration towards the examination and uh, after that I will also rectify I uh, also clarify your doubts to your doubts regarding TCS mod hiring and next important point is most of the students are registered on studentcarnal.co.in but they are unable to attempt the examination because you have to watch mock test uh, video and second important point is most of them are taking the test but they are not taking completely you have to spend 90 minutes of time on answering all the questions and after that you have to view the key with solutions each all questions are having solutions so except TCS Ninja series uh, TCS mod hiring series I will provide the solutions also you have to see the question what you answered and what is the right answer and what is the solution available and view keep option so go through it and uh, participate gently seriously participate very seriously for your career definitely you answered all the questions you will get better results towards your success coming to the this section here we need to discuss greatest of two numbers so we take first number is 10 and second number is 20 we need to check the relation first greater than second 10 greater than 20 the result is failed so that output will return 20 so now we are giving first number is 20 and second number is 10 20 greater than 10 true so obviously the greatest number 20 will be printed so how in logically we need to write so here we need to read two values and if a greater than b so big is equal to a else big is equal to b so print of big obviously the largest value will be printed so here I need to mention one thing so this is the if else branching branching statement so if the condition is true then state uh, statements inside the if are executed if the condition is false statement statements inside else part will be executed that is the meaning of if else so here we need to um, give the statement is a greater than b then the greatest and the big number is a otherwise big number is b so greatest of three numbers this is the most important part so clearly you understand if we take two numbers we need to check only one greater than relation is enough for judging it but if you take three numbers it is difficult for us to judge which number is greatest so for that purpose we need to follow this table so we need to check minimum of two conditions to judge whether the element is greatest or not but completely boldly we are getting three conditions a greater than b a greater than c and b greater than c if a greater than b is true and a greater than c is true then a will be the greatest a greater than b is true but a greater than c is false then obviously c is greatest if a greater than b is false then b greater than c is true then b is greatest a greater than b is false and a b greater than c is false so obviously c is greatest here also i am taking small example so variables are abc and the values are 21 65 and 42 what are the conditions we are using those conditions the first one is 21 is greater than 65 it is false 
so obviously we move to b greater than c condition 65 greater than 42 yes so that obviously 65 is the greatest b value is the greatest let them go to the program so same thing will be we are taking three values and n1 is greater than equal to n2 and n1 is greater than equal to n3 so a greater than b and a greater than c obviously n1 is the greatest so second condition n2 is greater than n1 means we are comparing with b initially first n1 is equal to a n1 is equal to a n2 is equal to b and n2 is equal to c so that a greater than b and a greater than c obviously a is greatest similarly b greater than a and b greater than c so b is greatest and c greater than a and c greater than b obviously c is greatest that is the way we are checking it this is a single line statements and next one is uh, this is a nested if else condition so if n1 is greater than equal to n2 and n2 is greater than equal to n3 means uh, similarly a is n1 is equal to a n1 is equal to a, n2 is equal to b, and n3 is equal to c. Let us assume. So, a greater than b, a greater than c, and b greater than c. And these two conditions is are true, then an a is greatest. These two conditions, uh, this condition is true, and this condition is false, then c is greatest. This condition is false, obviously we go to b greater than c. If this condition is true, then b is greatest this condition is false and this condition is false then c is greatest um, i already mentioned the table here this table is completely helpful in answering this program so finally one more technique is using else if letter so n1 is greater than equal to n2 and n1 is greater than equal to n3 n1 is greatest so coming to the else if n2 is greater than n1 and n2 is greater than n3 so that n2 is greatest no need to check further conditions why because obviously first one and second one is set first one or second one is not satisfied obviously else spot will come and n3 is greatest thank you